Hi there, today we're going to give you a demonstration of GigHound 1.0 for the iPhone or iPod Touch. GigHound searches Last FM and returns a list of gigs that a particular artist has coming up. For example, if we type in Weekend, we're presented with a list of the gigs that Weekend have got coming up soon. Each listing is separated into the date of the gig, followed by the name of the venue and the city the venue is located in. As you can see, Weekend have quite a few shows coming up. You can tap on each of these events to get more information out about that particular gig. For example, we tap on the Ross Kilda Festival presented with the details of that particular show. As you can see, there are also three tabs on the right hand side of the screen. First presents you with more information about the event. Second will give you a list of all the bands that are playing that particular event. You can tap on any of those bands and you'll see that you can read a description as it appears on the Last FM website. The third tab on the right hand side gives you a map of the location where the event's taking place. As with any of the maps on an iPhone, you can zoom in, zoom out, scroll around to find out what else is there. Finally, you're able to save this event to your local calendar so you can view it later if you choose to. The beauty of using the Last.fm API to get this information is that it isn't just available for large bands, but you can even search for smaller acts that may not be located on some of the bigger websites. For example, if we type in The Emergency, a local band from Melbourne, you can see that they've got shows coming up this Thursday at the Workers Club in Fitzroy. They're playing with a band called Courtship, and there's a bit of info in that gig that you can read through. If you're uh, unfamiliar with either of the bands, you can click on their names and get descriptions that are taken from the Last FM API, Last FM site. Finally, you can use the map feature to find out where that venue is if you haven't heard of it before. And finally, you can save to your calendar. That's about all there is in. Uh, GeekHound 1.0. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty simple as it stands at the moment. We're hoping to build a lot more to it. If you uh, want to get in touch with us, you can do so via www.geekhoundapp.com. Uh, all those details are also listed on the information screen of the application. You can follow us on Twitter, or you can email us directly. We'd uh, love to hear from you with any improvements you uh, have in mind. Thanks for listening.